So I'm watching the click to our sum up of the last 10 days. He's gone inside because he's seen these Gabby tattoos. All the family have these tattoos that say, I take notes. Because when these YouTube videos go down, and they will, I want to leave notes for people for the truth. You should be taking notes. So this Gabby thing, there's five people, step parents of some sort. I haven't even seen it. Corey picked up that they all had matching tattoos. It's something even my husband and I were going to do once. People do it, right? My daughter is a tattoo artist. It's in my testimony. I My ears are pricked up. And the words next to the tattoo are let it be. And they're on their arms. Now that reminds me of <clears throat> when I was a marching girl. I'm going to talk about the parade, believe it or not. Because I sort of always wondered, how come, Lord, you showed me that I'm watching the parade, which I am now, right? Well, I'm going to take a leap and say that those tattoos with that word, let it be, are the opposite to what I have in my testimony from one from when I went to mm. Melbourne Australia as a marching girl and we all know what's happening in Victoria and Melbourne and my brother lives here they are the badges so I have the wee white boots and I have a marching uniform and that's what I saw when the troopers were watching the parade and I was different First, I saw the marching band. But since I've reread the dream, I see that they had no instruments. Oops. But they are um, the typical New Zealand marching band, black pants, white stripe. And then the marching girls. I was right down at street level, and I, I don't think I identified their uniforms, but they had the white boots on. So I was a, was a marching girl. <coughs> we went, when, we, when I was 12, we went to Sydney, Canberra and Melbourne. I can't be absolutely sure, but I think it was, <laughs> you're going to laugh at this. I think it was most probably Sydney that I went shopping in the malls because I remember the escalators like Trump coming down the escalator, like the bear coming down the escalator, which was a vision that I had in 2002 when I was in revival and my husband cast me out. When I went to court before judges and magistrates and they tried to take male children, identical to Clex testimony, and I had a psychiatric assessment. That all happened, and the vision I got was the bear coming down the escalator. That's the first time I've ever had, like, a apocalyptic, and I knew it was, type vision. I went straight to, it must be Russia, because of my churchy, churchy background. But the Lord has shown me since. It's the bear coming, and it was coming into the middle of America, into the heart of America, this escalator with the bear coming down. So the great, I don't know America landscape very well. I've learned it a little bit since Amy went over there. But so you've got the Great Lakes. I did it in geography. You've got Detroit, right? Well, it was on the, in, on the inside of those lakes. It's like it was coming down from Canada almost. It was in the area that I would say possibly is dry from the tidal wave. Can I say that? I can say that because the Lord's confirmed it. Now you only have to just skim through the last seven days like click and you'll see I'm uploading three or four times a day and I'm overwhelmed like him. But we're getting there. And um, 
the Lord showed me the denial through cry macho, which is really cry rooster. All right? You can go and have a look at cry macho. And that's what I'm just about to show you in the clip, confirmation. So when click went for confirmation, and I'm just about to show it, I got my confirmation. At the time he said, I'm watching, I've only watched it once, that he asked the Lord for confirmation. I very seldom do that. And when he said it, I thought, why didn't I do that? <laughs> why didn't I think of that? Well, I don't do the whole, I don't have a dictionary, a thesaurus or anything that I open. That's one thing I've never done. It took me a long time to use Strong's and all I've had, all I've seen is fruit from doing it. Just fruit, fruit, fruit. Don't procrastinate, start doing it. It's all about numbers. The Lord said it's mathematics. He's the mathematician though, right? So I'm in Australia with the marching. I remember the mall. I remember the escalator. I remember the busy streets. We got let loose. We were only 12 and 13 girls, 13 year old girls. We got let loose. They all thought I was lost. Everyone gathered together. But this is where it's quite funny. The only thing I remember doing that could have held me up is I stopped at a market thing and I got sort of, I was looking at a watch. I wanted to buy a watch and then I was late, so late that they'd almost rung the authorities <laughs> and the embassy was just about involved because I'd gone missing in Sydney and I got really growled at and I basically had to stay in the hotel room in King's Cross. <laughs> they went to King's Cross and went, the adults went and checked out the strippers. One thing I remember is all the cockroaches on the street. Yeah. Or wetters. Or, no, they're cockroaches. Gross. Big, like wetters. So, that's your marching girls. They're your boots. Why did I mention that? Yes, because that's the only time that I can think that I could possibly have got this sweatshirt. But I've just got in the back of my mind, I got it in Melbourne. When we were in Melbourne, we were bulleted out by a family. So another marching team turned up and picked, up, picked us like a softball team to go home with their family and we stayed with them for well over a week and we did do some competition marching. Now, I may have gone shopping then. I bought a sweatshirt. It was a white sweatshirt. The white sweatshirt had life be in it. It's the same as this. But it's turned up. Let it be. 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 Whisper words of wisdom. Let it be. It's the Beatles, right? They're doubled down. They're the bugs. That's the tidal wave, but what I had was Life Be In It. It was a brand and it was called Life Be In It. Always remember that sweatshirt. Well, there was a wee bit of um, conflict when I got home over that sweatshirt and I ended up with a black eye. We know the symbolism of the black eyes. Early in 2018, when I went back and the Lord called me ignorant and I started watching YouTube videos. I had a vision of the eye and I saw the worm in one of the eyes and that whole manifestation of the black eyes. So how I got my black eye was one evening. It's the first time that my sister acted like a hunter. Like I know that this was her hunting me. I had my life be in it sweatshirt. I had hand washed it. My mum was dysfunctional. Our washing was never done. I hand washed my own washing, often in the bath with me, believe it or not. I had it all dry, ready to go to roller skating, and she said, can I wear it? And because I'm too nice, it was in the afternoon, I said, yes, but don't get it dirty. I'm wearing it to roller skating tonight. When it came to time to go to roller skating, 
I said, oh, can I have my switch it back? And she said, no. And I said, I beg your pardon? Can I have my switch it back? And she said, no. I said, what, what, do you want to wear it? You're going out somewhere? She said, no, I'm staying home. She just said, no. And righteous anger. And I punched her in the face. I didn't give her a black eye. But that night, possibly that night, I was the one who got in trouble. Mum come running. She said, look what Lisa did. I think it was that night. I had arranged to sleep out at the park with a friend rather than stay at her house just for fun. And I said that to Mum. I don't know if it was that night, it was another night, it was close to that week. I said to Mum, I was staying at her place, but we went to a disco. <coughs> uh, I got bullied. I don't know if you guys realise that some of your bully, bullying sessions, um, when the bully comes, it's you're hunted. Why do they single you out? A girl at this disco singled me out. She was smaller than me, but she was three years older than me. She was 15. And she went to one of those rough Borstal schools. She said, you called me a slut. I was sitting on my 10-speed bike. My mum had bought us 10-speed bikes and a couple of nice new sofas when the house had sold. Because now I was with a solo mum because she had separated and sold the house from my dad. She'd separated and the house at Two Hinders Street had been sold. With the money, we all got new bikes. I took my bike to the disco. I was sitting on my bike, ready to leave. She walked up to me. You call me a slut. Before long, she was punching me in the face. I said, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. And a great big crowd of people had gathered around to watch the fight. Well, I wasn't fighting. But I came after about four little pump pumps with her little fist. And I wasn't tough. I'd gone to a Catholic school and didn't know how to swear. I was on a hill. It was it was like I it, it's like I I was on a bike where my seat was too high, but I was on a hill ready to start it. So I pushed myself off the hill and with propellant of the bike swinging towards him her and my fist she went flying and I tell you she went flying and I think she, she was still on the ground probably knocked out cold and I got on my bike and rode off and as I rode off I could hear everyone cheering so that's my victory but I got a black eye yes I did and it reminds me of Amy when she got back from Bali in 2017 and she had phoned me at the end of 2017, around about September, when there was the sign in the sky, which I was oblivious to. I didn't seek the Lord desperate until the following year when she, she had madness and went and persecuted me on the internet. So this is in Bali and it was at the same time she rung me up and she said, messaged me she messaged me she said have i got gypsy blood and she did not remember her 12 year old dream that she typed up where she went with the gypsy to the underworld which the lord showed me the following year <coughs> that dream actually shows you the bottomless pit the cells and the worm and the bluetooth line to all her friends, she went into a place where she stepped into these cells. They were only up to her knees and they had everyone's individual name and they had a movie screen. And she, as a 12-year-old, said that she could see into people's dreams. And she jumped all the cells trying to find her mum and dad's cell, which is me and Marty, and, and was just telling us, she was okay, she was okay, She's, she's that she was going to be okay. And the fact is, the Lord has assured me she is going to be okay. So why did she ring, uh, message me and say in 
September 2017 when that sign in the sky of the woman and the stars, the revelation of 17, is it? What is it? Sign. <laughs> revelation 7 or 17? If it's 17, then we're looking at another 17, aren't we? The woman in the wilderness. I'm going to have a look to see what it is. I bet you guys know and you just think, oh, you're yelling at me to tell me now, but I can't hear you. Well, how did you know to ask me about the gypsy blood? That's because it was rising up in her. That was when they went and pursued the woman. That was when the pursue, the Lord is telling me now, that's when they the dragon pursued the woman into the wilderness. And then by the following year, by May 23, I was called to go up a mountain and I haven't left. That's why I'm here. I've been here over three years. So that's the hunt, Melbourne Place. They're the bugs. The Lord said when I come over here, he showed me a pupae wrapped in goat skin and he said the Antichrist is in the cave. It's the same thing. So, that's the sweatshirt. That was my night when I got the sweatshirt. That's how it went. That's the testimony of my sweatshirt. These tidal waves, these tattoos, which my daughter ate, was a tattooist. Let it be. Well, my one said, my sweatshirt said, and there's no, there's no accidents or mistakes that they hunted me for my for my sweatshirt. That's what my sister did. She's a hunter. And it said, life be in it. It's the same. It's the up of let it be. Life be in it. So I'm watching the parade. That's the marching girls. Now I know why there was a marching girls. Other than the fact that I had in Christchurch experienced parades. I had been part of parades as a marching girl. And there's always marching girls and a marching band in the parades. In Christchurch so I heard him say he wanted confirmation I asked the Lord why didn't I think of that and now listen when I prayed that prayer I opened up to this screen right here look right here look right here Last day's warning within weeks, right? Tidal wave. Look what's there. It's my confirmation beside it. Cry macho. So please look at the link. See the link between Click and I. Please understand the Lord has given me a dream. When I see the orbs coming down on this land, I'm out of here. Like a drone. It's not the bus, it's not the ute and the caravan going up. I saw it going up in a dream too. Same place. Both of us, uh, both Click and I are going to the same place. We are plural. We are a group. We sound like we're just talking about ourselves, but we're not. We're part of a body. So, Cry Macho is the message. Deny. And it's the Garden of Gethsemane. It's his number. It's this number. I can't remember the number. Oh, but I will tell you this. He didn't pick up the Bible change. So 2 Corinthians, that whole number, sundown, was it 228? 
the shofar he had to blow. He looked it up. The occurrence, 2 Corinthians, placed the Holy Spirit as a, he said, pledge. It's not a pledge. It's, it's never been a pledge. It's a deposit. Think about why they would change that. What's the difference between a pledge and a deposit? I'll tell you what the difference is. A pledge is something like when you do a telephone. We used to have telephone, 24-hour telephone to raise money. We used to watch TV for 24 hours. First year we raised, I've written this just re about a day ago, first year we raised a hundred a million dollars, second one, two million, third time, third time we had three and then it just died, the whole telephone thing, was three million. People would bring up and give a pledge. They would say, well, I'll pledge a hundred dollars. People would not honour their pledges. They never honoured their pledges. And when the final total come in after a telephone, it was always less than what their tally was. Do you understand that? Now, a deposit is final. It's in there and you can't take it out. That's what they do. They change the Bible. Click doesn't see it. I have no idea why not. Here we go. Gabby, five people, the tidal wave, remember, so I'm just going to write this in now, turned up, life, I've googled this, a brand, B, in, it. If I could find that brand, it will be, um, if I was only 12, you know, we didn't, there wasn't a lot of brands back then, you know, there were skin jeans, um, Amco, Wrangler, Levi, brands were a new thing, but it was a brand, life be in it, and it was my white sweatshirt, And it was coveted. Do you understand? Coveted. By a hunter. It's not about your flesh and blood. It's not. Your enemy is a spiritual entity. An angel. A down angel. It's not my sister. What we have here is your enemy will be in your own household. Trust only God. But, just remember, God works everything for good for those called to his purposes. That's why I can, like, I'm edified by it. I'm excited by it. I'm not like, oh, nobody's down in the dump sucking their thumb in a corner about what the enemy's done to them. Not the overcomers. They want to face the awful truth because it's the truth. Awful or not, we have to face the truth. And the reason why you can't face the good, the bad and the ugly and you don't understand it, the same as you don't understand the rainbow connection, the lover, the dreamer and me. Good, bad, ugly, lover, dreamer, me. Do you know which one's which? If you don't, have a look from my videos. And cry macho. Cock-a-doodle-doo. Three times. That's where we're at. Deny.